This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, where does ZBrush save the quick save files on my hard drive? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example file here loaded in. So the question is asking about quick save. So as you're working inside of ZBrush, if you come up here and click this quick save option here, ZBrush is going to save a version of your file to a quick save folder. After that mesh has been saved, if you have ZBrush open and you go to Lightbox by clicking this button here or pressing comma, and then navigate to the quick save tab, the file will be available in this area. So I can come through and select it and then double click and then load that in. Now the question is asking about where are these quick save files saved on your hard drive? So if you open up Lightbox and you go to that quick save area and now you click on any one of these quick save files here, down right here, it will show you the directory of where those quick save files are located. So on Windows, this will be your users public documents ZBrush data 2020 quick save folder. And you'll see that all these files are residing in that area. And so if I navigate to that area, you will see in that users, public, public documents, ZBrush 2020 data, quick save. Here we have all the quick save files. Now the quick save files are ZPR files or ZBrush project files. So you can navigate to this folder and then copy ones that you may want to keep and then delete anything else as needed. Now, in addition to this default location of where these quick save files will be saved, you can also modify ZBrush to have it save the quick saves elsewhere. So to do this, you just need to navigate to the ZBrush 2020 data folder. So that's just one directory higher than the quick save area. And then in here, there is a text file that is called ZBrush quick save path. If you double click this to open it up in a text editor, you will see that in here, there is just a path. So you can change this path to a different directory on your machine and then just simply save the file. And then now when you click that quick save button, ZBrush will now place those quick save files in that directory. Now, in addition to just manually coming through and deleting your quick save files by navigating to this folder, you can also go back into ZBrush and go to the preferences area here and then locate the quick save area. And in here you have an option to delete quick save files. Above this button here, there is also a slider that will allow you to set how many quick save files will be stored in that directory. So by default, this will be set to 1000. So once ZBrush reaches 1000 quick saves, it will start deleting the older ones. But if you want to reduce this down, you can just simply change this slider and then navigate up here to the config and just click store config and then that option will be remembered. So then you can tailor how many quick save files will be stored on your machine. So once again, to find the location of where the quick save files are being saved on your machine, just simply launch ZBrush, then open Lightbox by clicking this button here or pressing comma, then navigate to the quick save option at the top here, click on one of these files, and then the path will be displayed right here at the bottom. So on Windows, this will be users, public, documents, ZBrush data 2020, and then quick save, and then all these ZBrush project files will be saved in that folder. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.